Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Clever Clarinetist. I'm your host, Dr. Larkin Sanders. Today, we are talking about the Allstate music for the state of Kansas for bass clarinet. Um, it is the year 2022, and I believe this is the last year that the cycle will be in play, but I hope it's helpful for everyone all the same. The repertoire consists of an adagio and an allegro from Johann Ernst Galliard's uh, Sonatas, number three and number five, originally for cello, um, and these will be played on bass clarinet. They're a little Baroque, they're a little fun, and they're a little difficult. We're going to break it down note by note as it pertains to the music for your Kansas All-State audition this year. Okay, and now we're going to do a little bit of split screening work, so as I write on the music and talk about it, you can watch me take notes and take notes yourself, or screenshot as you find things to be especially helpful. So, in the adagio movement, we're going to start at letter A, and I know it says adagio, but I think it's kind of a brisk adagio. I played it at about 76 in my recording, uh, which you can find a link to in the comment section or the description section, um, and also as a card at the end of this video. But I think you could play it slower. I don't think you necessarily have to be strict 76. Um, if you feel like you want to go a little bit slower, I think that's perfectly fine. So what's going to be key in playing something adagio is subdividing. That is, thinking about this in terms of an eighth note pulse rather than a quarter note pulse. Even though it says quarter note equals 76, you might say that that would also equal eighth note. Um, 76 times 2 is 152. You could do it there, or you could use your metronome with uh, subdivisions, right? Um, either way, whatever is more comfortable for you. So at letter A, for example, right at the start, we're going to think of that dotted quarter note as three clicks and that 16th note grouping starting on the fourth click of the bar. And then each eighth note after it getting its own click, including that rest. Rests are really important in audition music. It shows the judge that you're counting and paying attention. So please don't skip your rests, don't skip over them, don't play through them, please play your rests. And I know it's also hard that right out of the gate you have to go over the break. And I know on bass clarinet it's like a whole thing. Just blast through it. Make sure you're using your air to your advantage and this dynamic level of mezzo forte. Um, you could just scratch out that M and call it forte. Because playing it louder will make it easier. And then you have to start again. You have this big leap. You have to go right up to a high F. So again, air. The name of the game is air. Make sure you're using your air to your advantage. Ta 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 ti ta ta. And this articulation is really legato. Don't feel the need to slap tongue it or do anything rough with it. Be really gentle. You almost want it to sound like it's slurred, um, just with a little interjection of t articulation. And that each eighth note is getting a click, right? Da 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 di da 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 um, Writing tick marks in this is really helpful for me because my eyes can follow the rhythm a little bit better if I have something to look at. I kind of equate it to like the old Disney bouncing ball <laughs> sing-alongs. Um, it helps me uh, keep my rhythmic integrity its fullest extent. So if it helps you, great. If it doesn't, find something that does. Find something that will help you stay perfectly in time all the time. Um, and again, here's another rest. Make sure you're giving yourself enough time. And watch out for that C sharp. Make sure you're playing the correct note. You've got the correct pinky keys both for E flat and C sharp. I would do them both on the right hand, but um, on bass clarinet, sometimes you might have an alternate E flat key, but you might not. So go ahead and plan on playing that E flat with your right pinky. With the C sharp, you can play it on the right hand or the left hand side. It really doesn't matter. Rest, rest. D D D D da 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 D D dum bum da da dum. All right, so we have the spun trill. Trills are really hard to count, so just do your best. Um, C sharp to D. Trill. And use whichever pinky is easiest. 
I use left, actually. I'm left-handed, so my left hand is a, maybe sometimes a little bit stronger or a little bit more finely tuned. It's probably more finely tuned than my right hand is. So I would twirl that with my left hand. Um, and you don't twirl it for very long. You get like two clicks and then you're off. Do, 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 la, 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 That's how you technically count trails. Blah, 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 blah. So enjoy that. You're welcome, world. And then we're almost to the end of this slow excerpt. Count your rest. We have this nice poco retardano, so you can take your time there to get all these little notes in. Just do one trill. Don't worry about doing There's no time for that. Just do one, one, note, one little trill on that 16th note C sharp to D trill. And hold out that. C sharp, don't forget that C sharps carry through the bar. So that is also going to land on C sharp. Um, it's a nice Picardy third cadence. Um, and normally this would go on to the next movement. I mean, it would be like an ataka moment. But the next thing on here is it's not a number five. Well, it's in the right key. It's not, a, it's not in the right key, actually. It should be in D major for it to work out this way. Alas, um, you get to take a break before going on to the next excerpt. The good thing about auditions is that you can take as much time as you need to to get from one excerpt to the next. So don't feel like when you're done with this slow excerpt that you need to just dive right on in. Because um, we have a whole new key and a whole new character. Yes, both of these have B flats in the key signature, but the slow movement is in D minor. And the fast movement is in F major. Very different feelings. Same key signature, totally different feelings. Now, ironically, one of the harder things about playing bass clarinet is honking out some low notes. <laughs> you would think that they would have solved this already, so be gentle. And don't feel the need to slap the tongue. Dup, dup, dup. So we want it to feel kind of light. We don't want it like, da, da, da. We don't need it to be staccato, but definitely a little bouncy, a little lifted. Um, this movement's definitely got a little bit of a dance feel to it. Um, I did notice in this edition we have this asterisk here, which tells us that all slurs are optional. Um, that is accurate. So in Baroque music, um, composers almost never wrote any kind of articulation or expression marking. That was entirely up to the performer. Uh, I think in my recording, I slurred almost everything or I group things together to make my life a little bit easier. So I definitely recommend doing a slur unless you just got like some monster articulation chops like you do you, whatever. Um, but I think this is way easier to slur. And be gentle again on those low Fs. Ta 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 dum. Make sure you're playing a G there. It's not F, 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 F. It's F, 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 G, F. <laughs> so silly. Um, and you have the same two measures in a row. Great. And then we have some stuff. And here's a moment where I would do two groups. Ta, da, ta, ta, ha, 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 Oh, also, I forgot to say, take advantage of this forte dynamic. This is all forte. You can kind of let the clarinet do the work for you. Um, to get yourself up over the break on these 16th notes, give yourself a nice little crescendo. You can call this fortissimo. That's fine. Um, they didn't write anything in, so it stands to reason that you can make up your own expression markings. Fortissimo. Bum, 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 ba da 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 And it'll also make it easier to go... Over the break, C, 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 D, C, 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 D, C, B, D, C, B, D, or whatever it is. Um, using max air is the only way to make this work. 
All right, and we're gonna do the same slur to the next one. Da da. Take your breath here. There's a teeny tiny breath mark. I think all the breath marks in this are good. Um, having said that, I don't think you should need more breaths. So if you catch yourself feeling like, wow, I really need an extra breath, that means you need to take bigger breaths when you have the opportunity to do so. I would breathe in for a full four counts uh, before you come in. So maybe you need to make yourself a note. Breathe. Four. Four. Before you come in. All right, and back to number six, measure six here. Ta-ta, ta-ta. You might even make that into an eighth note. Give yourself like a whole eighth rest there so you have enough time to breathe. Ta-ta, ta-ta. And it, again, if you got some articulation chops, it might be fun to go ta-ta-ta-ta, ta-ta. Um, but for the rest of us who just want to survive our audition, um, we're going to slur it in groups of four. Ta ha ha ta ha ha ha. And then back over here. Ta ha ha ha. Ta ha ha ha. Ta ha ha ha. Ta ha ha ha. And we got this nice crescendo. So make sure you're doing a big one for drama and to help yourself get up over the break in these sections, these G, A, B, C areas. Because I know it's rough. I know it's rough out there. And you have the same rhythm here. Ta ta. So you might want to do the same thing that we did before where you turn it into an eighth note and then add your eighth rest so you have plenty of time to breathe. Ta ta da 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 da. This is maybe the weirdest little sequence of notes in the piece so make sure you're going down to E here. And if it helps you might add a couple slurs. G, C to G and then A to E. Ta ha ta ha ta 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 da da da. That'll make you, that might make your life a little bit easier to organize like all these notes. Ta 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 da 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 da. Um, this trill is G to A, and I add a little grace note F here just to help myself land on that F in time. Da 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 da. Um, if you feel better, just going da 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 da. I. I can't do it. I can't do it without like giving myself a little landing grace note F, but if you can, like more power to you. Um, but it is available to you if it might make your life easier. And of course you want to take a big breath on that rest. And now we have a little bit of a character shift. And we're going to do some subito dynamics. So this, we'll call this a subito forte. I think you kind of land on forte back here, but you kind of want to give it a delicate ending. We have this forte section. Da da da, dee 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 dee. Um, if you're having a hard time counting this, da da da, dee 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 dee. You can take out your rest, or your sorry, your slur, just to get used to that. Da 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 da. But the tie is important to the rhythm, so you do actually you can't take it out permanently. Um, just because we have some leniency with the slurs does not mean we can do that with the ties. Just make sure you're subdividing. Ta da da, dee 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 dee. Um, oh, that's right. I don't want to do that. So the first time is forte, and then we have a subito piano. And these are super impressive to judges if you can make them super dramatic. Da 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 That is the goal there. So to make my sudden dynamic change a little easier, I only slurred those two. And then make this a new group. Yeah, just like that. There we go. That's correct. Um, and we might do like a teeny tiny crescendo so we can help ourselves go from this F to this G. Dum bum bum bum. But we don't want to do too much. Maybe like to mezzo piano. We got another one of those little syncopated breathing moments. So if you want to add that whole, change it to an 
eighth note, add an eighth note rest, you can do that. Because we're still piano here. And that's because we've got a big long sequence ahead of us to for a crescendo. So we've got a crescendo written in here. Tom ta da tum 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 tee dee 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 dun da 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 bing bee dee 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 So make sure that you are starting piano here. Right? We have this piano back here. And we're gonna crescendo through the sequence. So maybe by here your mezzo piano. Maybe by here your mezzo forte. And your forte here. And so actually here you're gonna be fortissimo. Drama is the name of the dynamic game. And this is just a lovely C major scale. All these 16th notes are scalar passages. So if you see them and you're worried. Don't be. You can totally play a C major or a concert B flat, as you probably know in band class. You can play that scale, no problem. And we're back in a nice comfy forte for this return of this bum 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 ba da 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 dum 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 da 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 da. And we got some stuff again. Dee da 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 dee 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 dee. We'll. Back in the F major here. Da 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 da. These slurs are good. And then a nice F major scale. And to make your life a little bit easier going up over the break, do da 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 You have day crescendo. You really don't have to do that much because your clarinet will do most of the work. Dum bum. Bum, bum. Just kind of let your clarinet do it. Don't uh, try so hard to make a dig or show no happen. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to breathe. Big breath there. Because we're back to the stuff from the beginning, but now it's going to get a little tricky. Da 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 Little repetitions of it, I think. Yep. And then we have a new idea here. So back to one. And here's another sequencing down now. There's two. And here's three. And then one little closing idea that's not like the others. Da 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 da. One, two. Might give it a one, two. So again, use your air. Do a big crescendo so that as you start climbing up and down over the break, it's not so hard. Once you get all the way over, it'll be a lot easier. And the highest note you have is F, and then you know you have to start turning around. E D D D D D D D D. And if this is too many notes to handle, you might do two groups of four. That's also fine. But I think it's easier to just do them all. D da da. So watch out for these leaps. Otherwise, these things are scalar. I'm going to go through and circle the leaps. So you're paying attention to those. And you can see the leaps are happening at the same part of all the beats. They're happening in the first two notes. So don't, don't just assume you're going in the same pattern of stepwise motion. There are some leaps in here. Watch out for those. Yeah, da 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 and I forgot to say, watch out for your B flats in this section. So don't play B natural. Make sure that all of these flats, all these Bs are flat. Right? Um, it's in the key signature, so it might make your life a little bit harder because you're going to be going like, from B flat over the break again. Um, but you can do it. Just use your air. Use your air to get through it all. Um, and then you're done. Yeah, da 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 da
You have this little like minory moment right at the end, and then you can stop. Hooray. All right, so there's my little tutorial on how to play the bass clarinet music for Kansas all state and all district auditions for the 2022 fall semester. Uh, I hope this was really helpful. Uh, if you are interested in learning more about doing successful auditions and successful performances on bass clarinet or soprano clarinet or any clarinet, I'd love to work with you. You can book lessons on my website, cleverclarinetist.com. Send me an email, larkin at cleverclarinetist.com, or there are other ways. If you Google me, you can find all kinds of ways to get in touch with me. Um, I do online lessons and in-person lessons as well if you're in the Kansas City area, or will you come to Kansas City? Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.